Antwerp, you'll see a lot of hands. Even the name of the city means hand throwing in Dutch, and is connected to a folk legend that I'll tell you later. Nowadays, you can even buy some hand cookies. Right now, I'm going to the Mass Museum. Museum uh, under Stroll. Stroll. I'm not sure I don't speak Dutch. Very, very sorry about that. But anyway, I'm not going to visit the museum, but rather the rooftop, which is uh, free of charge. And you don't apparently need to buy a ticket to the museum to visit the rooftop. I'll check it out and, <laughs> and tell you. But um, yeah, uh, according to our tour guide, uh, it works exactly like this. So this museum is one hour away on foot from my current whereabouts, but I, you know, <laughs> accepted the challenge <laughs> because the weather is fine. Actually, um, the best weather in Antwerp that I had to witness. That's why I thought, yeah, well, why not? The Mass aims to be an international museum about the global connectedness between people from different cultures and environments. I didn't have a lot of time to explore the exhibitions, but the museum seemed worth visiting. At the top of the Mars, a stunning view of the city and the port waits you. And as promised, the main legend of the city, the mythical giant named Antigone, lived by the Scheldt River and demanded a toll from all those who crossed it. If anyone refused to pay, Antigone would sever one of their hands and throw it into the river. One day, a brave young soldier cut off the giant's hand and ironically tossed it in the river. Hence, the name Antwerpen was derived from Dutch words that mean to throw a hand. Handelsbosch is a historical gem that was on my must-see list. Now it's a top location for corporate and public events. Early in the day it was a busy trading place and a god hall. Also behind me is the Antwerp Fashion District. If you know the brand, the Antwerp Six, these were the uh, six students that graduated from the local fashion institution and made Antwerp well known, and now it's among the other fashion capitals. Thanks to Antwerp Six and other designers from the city, Antwerp's fashion district became well known. Apart from all the expensive shops, you can find the Fashion Museum and the Fashion Academy there. Thank you.
Being in Belgium and not visiting a chocolate museum seemed almost like a crime, so I went straight to the chocolate nation. It's an experience museum where you can taste 10 different flavors of chocolate. It is also the largest Belgian chocolate museum in the world, entirely devoted to Belgian chocolate. You can learn more about the history of chocolate in Belgium, but also see the chocolatiers at work during the tour. Speaking of chocolate, I'd like to mention the chocolate line. You can find their shops only in Bruges and Antwerp. It's a family business that collaborates with numerous Michelin star restaurants and fashion designers. They set a goal to make every praline an experience. Therefore, you can find pralines with homegrown tomatoes, caramelized shrimp hats, and even artificial saliva. This was it about my trip to Antwerp. Subscribe to this channel not to miss my next destination.